we are back. Hi. And we're on camera. And we're on camera. Mm -hmm. So we're doing something a little different this week. We're trying different things. I mean, we're in quarantine, so why not try? Um, we are currently in bed, and you'll be able to see that because we'll be posting the video on YouTube. Yeah. So we are recording this through our phone, and yes, I totally did lay down right now. And we are also recording a video, so you'll be able to see the podcast now. Hopefully Anchor will sponsor us through YouTube as well. Yeah, I don't know if that will no. be a thing, but sure. No. I just realized you're wearing a hoodie in bed. Yeah. I know, the camera can see it too. Yeah, um, the camera can see us everything. I just don't, I don't know, I just, I just woke up not too long ago, so, and I have quarantine ugly hair, so. Show us your ugly hair! Hashtag self-conscious issues. Um, Literally. Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm wearing a hoodie. I nah. mean, I feel like everyone, a lot of guys are probably in the same boat as you. Feeling self-conscious? No. No, I mean the haircut thing. No, there's a lot of self-conscious people. I'm there actually, that. there is. But, like, it's like, I'm self-conscious for, like, stupid shit. Like, I'm self-conscious about, like, should I be wearing oversized hoodies over regular size hoodies? Like, there's dudes that are self-conscious about, like, actual shit. Like, like their actual looks. Like, fuck, does this girl really like me? Uh, stuff like that. Or, like, I, they feel fat or whatever. And, like, they're kind well, of... Well, no, 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 no. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, but, like... Yeah, I guess it's just, I guess I'm, I'm self-conscious about dumb shit. But not dumb shit. But it is dumb shit. It's dumb shit to other people. Realistically, it's dumb shit, but for you, it's not dumb shit. Exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm wearing the hoodie. That's where the hoodie started. Yeah, the hoodie started because we literally have been awake and we had breakfast already. Hashtag eating healthy this week, for the next eight weeks. Week one done. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. But um, so we had our breakfast, and then randomly I'm setting up for this, as you can see the video and everything, and in our bed because that was the point. We wanted to be in bed, and then randomly Ethan's like, "Don't you think I wear my hoodies too tight? Didn't you see that picture? Look at me. My arm. It looks like like too tight in that hoodie." And I'm like, "Where?" literally if you could like if he was standing you could see that this is not tight and another thing is since when are arms big arms like a bad thing no it's not that big arms aren't a bad is a bad thing it's just uh i just felt like the hoodie looked like i don't know it just it didn't make it look big i guess for me it's just like why the fuck does like my arm look so like i don't know it just looked overly big so i just thought the hoodie was just like too but why tight. is that a bad thing because i'm not a fucking dad that's like dad shit how is that a bad thing i only know dads that i only know dads like, that like fucking want to have like those big arms showing off and shit but you don't even have like a huge arm it's like a normal but it's a little bit bigger than a normal arm which is a good thing why the fuck do you want skinny like no nah, i don't want no skinny arm. arms i think i've been i don't know i think that's what fucking people are promoting i guess Ladies, if you thought that you were the only one that was self-conscious, or mainly us being self-conscious, being in this relationship has taught me that it's not just us women that are self-conscious, because Ethan is hella self-conscious. And as you guys can see, which I tell him all the time, he is very good-looking. The camera can't him. see you. The camera sees you from far away. Who cares? I'm they kidding, they check kidding. you out on Instagram. Go check his Instagram out. It's at what? At Ethan at, DeBoard. At Ethan DeBoard. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Go check out his Instagram. At Ethan DeBoard. I give you that. I'll give you well, that. Um, why do you want people to creep on me? Well, I'm giving them the... How do you say Because I'm your girlfriend. I'm giving them the... The green light. Go do it. Go check him out. Go see. And go tell me what you think. Or comment on his pictures. And see what, like... Tell me. Should he be self-conscious? I'm not saying that, obviously, like, as humans, we have that ability... And, like, it's fine. He can, you know, feel self-conscious about certain things. But realistically, should he be self-conscious because he's a good-looking man? And I'm not just saying that because he's my boyfriend. It's not about look-wise. I'm just saying... It is about look-wise with you. You're like, look, my arm looks too big. Look, I don't want to... No, and it just... Head. That's why I'm deciding over it. That's why the whole thing was, like, the whole regular over oversized hoodie conversation. I don't know, ladies. Go check him out. 
I'll give you that, um, you can, I'm giving you the permission was, I'll give you the permission to go check out my boyfriend and don't fucking flirt with him or slide into his DMs because I won't let you down. That's never going to happen. Sure. That's but never happened. You're not even a bad looking guy. That's never happened though. I'm okay, not even fine. saying that this has nothing to look about but looks. Hey, I'm just saying that's never happened. Wherever you are, because I know you listen to I'm us. I'm not trying to say that I want I, to happen. I know we have I'm just saying listeners it's never in Ireland. I know we have listeners in California. I know we have listeners in New York. I know we have listeners in Florida. Go check out his Instagram and just be polite. Don't fucking like say any like stupid shit or slide into his DMs because he's my boyfriend. Hence, we're in our bed. That's never happened. But go yeah, tell him okay, if okay. he's a good looking man right, and right, he shouldn't be self-conscious. Let's see if it happens. So. Thank you. That just made me seem really thirsty, but thank you, Jesse. It's not about you seeming thirsty. It's about the fact that I want you to not feel self-conscious about yourself because you really I'm don't not, have much to feel self-conscious it's not, about. It's about the clothes that I wear self-conscious. Babe, it's not about the way I look. Right now, it was the hoodie thing. There's been way more issues of you being self-conscious for other reasons. And I haven't brought them up in a long time. Oh, uh, but a long time is like a week. That's a long time for me. Okay, sure. So... You, are, you guys already know what to do. I like this being in bed and like, I still have my coffee. You drink yours already. Yeah. So, well, one thing that we've been doing this week, I look like fucking shit. If anything, I'm the one, I've always been self-conscious, but whatever. If anything, I'm the one that should have issues of that. But, do you want to talk about this week? What? what do you mean about what? Our our uh, new change in life. Oh yeah, we've been starting. We started working out. We've been we're on an eight week plan. We're on an eight week plan. Yeah. yeah, it's an eight week challenge, and week one is done. Except I haven't. Today's our active rest day, and we still haven't done anything. I know Ethan's gonna do his own thing, and I'll probably do my own thing, but um, but week one is pretty much done. Well, I mean, the reason I even, well, we just decided to do it together. Jesse started it, and Jesse's like, hey, I signed up for this eight-week challenge, and I'm like. So, I let's give a shout-out, though. So, let's, like, preference, like, how this happened. Oh, okay, then you So, Because like, I don't really know. I think it was, like, two weeks ago or a week ago? Probably, like, a week ago. Mm -hmm. I was on um, Instagram, and some YouTuber, I forget her fucking name, that I follow, beauty guru that I follow on Instagram. She was like, oh, I'm about to do this workout with another YouTuber that was hosting it with our now trainer, I guess. You, yeah, she's our trainer. So they were hosting a live on IG of the workout. And I just randomly stumbled upon it. I wasn't even, I had already gone out for a run. So I came back and I was just chilling in bed and I started watching it and I'm like, this is actually really good. And then I went to the kitchen, Ethan was there, and I started doing a few moves, and I was already sweating. Mind you, that was just an IG Live that's about, like, 30 minutes, and it's, like, the simplest shit that she does. So I thought that this is how the eight-week challenge was actually going to be. So, but this was before, so when I saw that IG, I looked at the trainer's Instagram, and I was like, oh, she seems really cool, let me follow her. I started following her, then on the IG story, she mentions that she has an eight-week challenge up on her website, that you can purchase it, and it's going to start on Monday. And I was like, I went, looked, it was only $40, and that's really, really cheap for most of these challenges, like these like fitness challenges. So I was like, hell yeah, let me do it. Not thinking anything of it. When I purchased it, I honestly thought it was going to be like the workout that I had seen very surprised but in a good way not in a bad way so um i follow her there's a bunch of she first says it's about to be like 25 girls that she's gonna choose so the trainer we're talking about go follow her on instagram colombian fit mafia colombian mafia fit colombian mafia fit i think it is and her name is maria and she's fucking awesome like awesome awesome so I get the, you get a PDF, it has all the workouts, it has the meal plan, it's like a small meal plan, it's nothing like, you know, it's very simple on the PDF. 
It gives you the schedule of your workouts, what you're going to be doing each day. Uh, we work out pretty much six days a week because today is our rest day, but we still have to be active. We have to do a workout today. Tomorrow is legit rest, rest, like you don't do anything. Um, so it's working out six days a week and it shows you each workout for each day and it tells you what you're going to be doing that workout and she has a video like explaining each work, each exercise. So it's at first I was like, oh, this is like kind of simple. No wonder it was $40 but no it's not so and then to top it off she created like a facebook group because so many women signed up that it's over or not just women there's men involved too and it's over like 200 and something people so she created a facebook group we're all on there we're all motivating each other we have a whatsapp um also group that we're all talking in like it has been awesome and to be completely honest when i purchased it i was gonna do it for the workouts and fuck over the food part and i was like nah i'm not gonna eat healthy like that that's so like i don't want to do that i'll just work out and then oh, that was your plan in the beginning yeah that was my plan and then i was gonna semi try to eat healthy but still eat like you know mm -hmm. and so then literally when was it on <laughs> sunday for mother's day yeah. um she went on, she had like a Zoom call with all of us, and that's when I realized that the whole eating plan was going to be a thing. Okay, yeah. So then, when did you get involved? No, I got involved when you told me you were going to sign up, and I had my own thing that, I basically signed up for like aloe moves, I was trying to do like this like yoga fitness thing, which I'm still doing i just needed to buy the like yoga equipment basically like the blocks and like the the belt and whatever and like the back pillow or whatever that's called so obviously what i wanted to do i couldn't do until i had that equipment so i told jess i'm like well might as well just start with you and just like continue and then just like basically like double up to also you know like just get the workout in and like support jess and you know so like just Kind of just be there kind of for like support and just like we both work out together and obviously now i'm like fuck now i gotta double up well Sunday. the first day that we did the workout yeah at first i was just like uh i'm like well with the stretches i'm like are you supposed to feel something but definitely you fucking do that lady kicked my ass literally the it's funny because every day we have like in the pdf we have to look at it to see the workout and we do it we can mm -hmm. do it on our own now there's women that are like she told us like you can do zoom calls and like motivate each other and but she's so fucking awesome because she's involved in all of this like she's involved in our whatsapp she's involved in our facebook group and then on monday she was like all right i'm gonna host one time a week like a zoom call where I do the workout with you guys. So on Monday, the first day, it was with her, with Maria. And literally we start and Ethan's just kind of like, yeah, like, sure. It's like, I'm like, are you feeling anything? He's like, I mean, yeah, kind of. By the end of the workout, which was more than an hour long, drenched, like yeah. drenched in sweat, like completely. And I was just like, so did you feel it? No, you definitely <laughs> do feel it. And her workout, at least her workouts is just like, because like before all everything, like I was semi working about, it was just like super unmotivating. Like I'd be on the ground for like, I'd do like one workout and then be like laying on the ground for like half an hour. She's fucking awesome. She like her, kicks yeah. your ass. She motivates you, but not in like a, how do you say it? Not in like a annoying way, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like she's like actually motivating. She's like, don't give up don't and it's like you work out yeah. and you're doing it and it's like you don't really have much rest in between because she's like i don't believe in that rest shit because you rest and then you're mm -hmm. gonna be start thinking about it and you're gonna start doubting yourself and then you're gonna want to quit yeah so it's she like go go it. go 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 and at a good pace it's not like crazy either but it's like you fucking see the difference like you're sweating mm -hmm. and like i end up like beat red sweating like it's it's fucking intense and i think all the workouts that we have have done like have all pretty much been intense yeah no there's nothing that she hasn't done that made like made us do that hasn't been like intense like, or, like the, hard or at least just the fact that you're like gonna sweat your ass off yeah. yeah and even like the day before like we have our first day i think was full body 
then we do on tuesdays and thursdays we do hit and core mm -hmm. and then we did like uh lower body on wednesday and then yesterday was arms and fucking i thought hit and core i'm not a huge fan of cardio so i was like i uh, fucking i'm gonna hate it and no lie i did hate it more because it, i thought it might have been a little bit less since it was just gonna be hit and core no when was it on thursday we there was even a workout the an exercise that we were like we can't fucking even do this mm -hmm. the one with the like tabletop and the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm like mm -hmm. dude like homegirl really but she also a great thing that she's like on is like your form how to breathe holding in your core like all this shit so it's also very like that's also a, a huge key that i feel like some people talk about but some don't some are like here are the workouts do it and like you know yeah. but this is like because now whenever i do an exercise i'm thinking about my breathing sucking in my core Pulling in my fucking tailbone, um, all this shit. And mm -hmm. it's like, that's how you also like really get that workout in. And I think that's why you feel it. But then on Monday, we also started in the whole eating healthy habit. So we can't have any red meat. We can't have wheat, like any grains or anything. Well, not grains, but like wheat, like bread and rice and pasta and all that. Um, but it's not too bad of a diet. No. Um, it hasn't been so difficult as I thought it would. No, be. I feel a lot of stuff that we are that we do with this diet we don't really eat anyway. So uh, that's was beneficial for us, or like we could live without. Yeah. Um, the only thing that was really tough was like maybe the cheese. Yeah. Um, but even then, that's only for like four weeks, so it's just like a month without cheese, which isn't bad. Four but, weeks? No, it's hmm? the whole eight weeks. Oh well, two months without cheese but uh obviously no me, dairy yeah i'm definitely not as strict with my diet as i'm pushing jesse to be or as jesse is like not in the fact where it's just like i'll have like a cheese stick oh for a snack. well i'm i'm the one who's not allowing myself to do yeah. things like that i'm here kind of for like moral support and to get the workout in but you're doing it but i am doing it i'm doing like a good 80 80 percent of it no. But you're not just doing it for moral support, because if you were, then I'd be like, ah, well, fucking, I'll cook my own food and you cook yours. Yeah. Well, we are so, eating the same. We are definitely having the same breakfast, same lunch, same dinner. Um, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Even, like, the same snacks. Like, I haven't had the cheese, like, in a while. Like, it's been already, like, two days since I haven't had the cheese. That's I'm like, another you know what? thing. I'm like, you know what, fine, I'm going to stop doing the cheese. I do have a pepperoni still, a couple slices, but that's about it. That's another thing, because... We did keto last year because we also got like super, I think it's just a really, we get to, I don't know. I've been looking at pictures of myself before, right before we got together. And I know I lost a lot of weight before I got with Ethan, but holy shit, I let myself go. And I never believed in them like, oh, people get comfortable in their relationships. And now I'm like, oh my, I always criticize, like, no lie. I kind of always criticize people that said that and they're like, yeah. It's just because I got comfortable in my relationship. Yeah. I kind of let myself go. And now I'm looking at myself and I'm like, that's fucking me. And it scares the shit out of me. But I guess you kind of need to realize that in order to like change and be like, and wake up and be like, nah, fuck that. So I did let myself go. I'm weighing more than normal. And so last year we realized that we were also kind of weighing more than normal, both of us. And so we went on keto and keto wasn't bad because of the fact that you get to eat still a lot of good things that like, like, I, I guess if you're on strict, strict keto, then you're just like pretty much meat and, and certain veggies and shit like that. Um, but we were on like kind of dirty ish keto, but we still lost weight. I just didn't like it because I keep on, I, when I lose weight, I kind of lose everything. So the little ass that I had was completely gone. So I wasn't a fan of that. Um, but besides that, the fact that you can eat cheese and red meat and like bacon and like, we would have like lettuce burgers and all this like fat juicy shit, like was amazing, but I missed fruit. So at least here in this, like, it's not really a diet. It's like a new way of eating and like kind of getting ourselves to eating more healthy. 
has been easier because we can't eat red meat, we can't eat dairy, we can't eat um, bread, pasta, shit like that. But we're encouraged to eat, and with keto, we were doing intermediate intermediate fasting, mm -hmm. um, which Ethan isn't a fan of eating breakfast. So that was super easy for him. I was kind of getting used to it, but it wasn't that bad. But then, um, but then what's it called? But then here we were encouraged. What do you want? No, no, nothing. Oh. Oh, I thought I heard something. Oh. But never mind. With here, with this plan, we're encouraged to eat five times a day. So we're eating breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. Which I didn't think it was going to be a lot. So I was like, oh, that's easy because I eat so much during the day. But now like that we have to like plan it out to literally eat all those fives. It seems like a lot. And like the first, I think like the third day or so, I was just kind of like starving. Like I was like, holy shit, I'm eating and I felt like it wasn't enough. And then like the day before and yesterday, I was like, fuck, I have to eat another snack. Like it was just like, I felt like. I wasn't really that hungry, which was great. Um, and then it's just, and I don't know, just being able to eat fruits makes a huge difference. We can have oatmeal. Um, we can have like non-dairy yogurt, non-dairy shit we can have. And we're used to like not putting sugar in our coffee. So that's easy. We don't really drink soda. We only drink soda like it was very like, maybe like not at home. Mm -hmm. Recently in quarantine, we kind of like, I fucking went off and like bought way too much shit that we usually don't eat. So we did have a little bit of soda here and there at home, but usually we're good with seltzer water and water. We don't really drink juice either. So all of that was easy for us. Like that part's not hard. And I thought that the no red meat part was really going to kill me, but we can eat chicken, we can eat fish, we can eat tuna, like all that stuff. So it hasn't been too bad so far. Yeah. Yeah, no, it hasn't been bad at all. I definitely, I don't mind it. This is something I kind of want to even, I was telling Just that I want to stick with. Uh, even post eight weeks, just because I feel like it's just like, I feel better eating all this mm -hmm. compared to when we were just eating whatever. Like, and like, I just felt like it was just like so heavy and like uncomfortable. I think it's also because you were missing, like, you weren't eating as much throughout the day that the moment that you ate, you ate a lot. Yeah. Yeah, because I had a certain amount of time where I could just eat. And then I would be done, and then that's it. But, no, even just, like, even the food, like, even if I felt like, even if I didn't have breakfast, like, even there's been times, obviously, like, I haven't had breakfast now. And that was, like, the first day. Yeah, but even then, after having those the meals throughout the day, like as a snack and all that, like I still felt the difference as in doing eating dope that type of food than when I used to eat a burger or whatever. Or else. Like, like chips. Or yeah, yeah. Like that. You generally like do. Fries. You generally do feel the difference, like as in just like how like better you feel about yourself, or like how just better you feel. You don't feel as like sluggish. Like I remember, yeah. like. I remember I was used to be like super tired. Maybe I think that's the reason why like maybe I'm not like kind of like as tired throughout the day as I used to be. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely like the way we're eating now way more. I prefer this clean diet over going back to our old ways for sure. I feel like we have more energy and we're like more mm -hmm. like motivated. Like, I'm actually motivated to, like, work out today whenever I do, even if it's, like, a run or whatever it may be that I decide to do. Like, I feel motivated enough to do that. Don't get me wrong, though. After we work out, I feel fucking dead. Oh, yeah, of course. But, I'm, like, exhausted. But, like, even the fact of, like, look, like, usually, like, for me, like, I'd, I'd be awake or I'd wake up and be kind of, like, a struggle for me to get out of bed. Mm. But, yeah, like, oh, like, let's get up. Or, like, whatever. I'd be like, oh, I gotta get up. And, like, I just got up and I felt... It was, like, weird. Even, like, little things like that. Mm. Where, like, before, like, I'd be, like, nah. Like, I'd wake up and I'd, like, stay in bed for, like, a whole another hour. Mm -hmm. uh, just even things like that. Like, this... And that's just, I just feel like it's just, like, even the way, like, just, like, our diet has changed. Yeah. And I, I agree. Like, after these eight weeks, I definitely want to... Um, 
eat this way more. I would like to incorporate a few things here and there like cheese, like, but like, I think it's also very much like portion size of things and like a balance. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just fucking be like, I'm going to eat pasta and rice and blah, blah, blah. Like, no, everything has to be balanced. Like good meals, add a little, and it's like, it's also portion size. Like you can't fucking just get a huge plate of pasta and be like, I'm going to eat this whole fucking mountain of pasta. Like, if you eat a little bit with veggies on the side and, like, salad or something else, I think you'll be full. And it's still good. Like, all these meals that I've been doing this week that I've been cooking, I'm actually shocked at how good they actually have been coming out. And it's like, I thought I was going to struggle because I thought we were just going to be on fucking, I would have already been tired of, like, chicken, like, and broccoli. Mm -hmm. Like, up to here. Because I've done it before and that shit gets boring real quick. But one thing that on the PDF it says, it's like, make sure you season things and like use like, and a lot of people say that use good seasonings, but use a lot of them, like different things. And it has helped. Yeah, no, it definitely has helped for sure. So it's definitely been really good. I'm yeah. really grateful that this came up like out of nowhere. And I think it's even helped our relationship. Yeah, no, definitely. We definitely do more of like a teamwork aspect. Because mm -hmm. we were not getting along so much. No. We Quarantine has been a little rough on our relationship. Definitely. So. Uh, but yeah, this definitely has helped us out a lot more. And I'm excited because it'll end right like on the week of 4th of July, which we don't even know what the fuck is even going to happen by then. We'll probably be like, just be able to go to the park. So like, hey. Print in our what car. Park? Go to the park. Or, like, they'll make us see the fireworks from our car. I don't think that there is going to be any fireworks this year. Mm -hmm. Well, all the oh, stuff in Boston has been canceled. Oh, man. So, I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Who knows? Yeah. But I'm assuming... We'll probably do it, like, to, like, some town. I don't like it. Towns will definitely have it, but, like... Maybe. They'll be like, oh, watch from your car. Or, like, hmm. in, like, social or, distance. Or, like, social distance, six feet apart. Yeah. Who knows? But regardless, the summer's coming here in Boston, so the warmer weather's coming, so I want to be able to wear, like, shorts and, like, little crop tops and shit and feel comfortable, and so I think it ends at the perfect time. But does it, though? Because, like, even still, like, here in Massachusetts, we're still going to be in phase one. And we don't know gonna what's going to happen by businesses. then. Yeah, but we don't know when phase two is even going to be coming around. Maybe August, depending on who the summer said. Around. It's to be announced. What if so? What if, Unless like, let's estimated. say, let's say, because phase one is supposed to start on Monday, and let's say, um, it goes well, and let's say by like June, they're like, actually, we can start phase two in July. That'd be best case scenario. You know, that I saw uh, that they posted today that. A lot they had like people go in for testing in the city of Boston um Dorchester it was like Boston Dorchester and East Boston and they went and got like the test for like the antibodies and shit mm -hmm. and one out of 40 people all of them tested that they they're positive for coronavirus and they're asymptomatic yeah well, that's for asymptomatic I don't even know bro this shit is like sometimes I'll be wondering like are Justin and I asymptomatic and in the, the funny part is in the beginning i would tell ethan i'm like babe we could both be asymptomatic and he's like what the fuck are the odds of both of us being asymptomatic well uh, that was before that i knew how clearly how much of a common thing it is mm. it's either we're asymptomatic or obviously we just don't have it because then really we've been around just don't have because we've been around like other people but like Definitely, obviously, social distancing, like, no touching, none of that. And, obviously, they've been fine. So, mm. it's just, like, what, is everyone that we've been around also asymptomatic as well, then? I don't even know, bro. I just hope we don't have it, just for the fact that I know we've been around more, like, lately people. We've been social distancing, that's for sure. Like, if we're around people. But my family, we've been around, but at a social distance and with masks. So, I don't know. Yeah, no one really knows. This shit is crazy. Mm. 
But you people in Florida and Georgia are living the life and Texas. Shout out to you guys that are fucking living like nothing is going on. You guys are, that's crazy. <laughs> Texas at full retro. Yo, that's insane. I'm sorry, but this is just my opinion. If we were to open up here, let's say on Monday when the governor is going to announce what businesses actually get to open, um, I would not go. Nah, I don't care about a restaurant. I care about a fucking haircut. His barber texted him yesterday and he thought that he was going to be like, oh, I'm taking appointments. And he almost cried the moment that he just sent him a YouTube video on how to maintain his beard. Yeah. Did you actually cry? Because your, eye, your eyes were all like red on the side. I was very frustrated. Look, you look like your eyes like listening because you're about to like drop a tear. I was very frustrated. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, babe, I already told you I can help you out. He doesn't trust me. Anyone else going through that with their boyfriends? Or anyone else actually like cut their boyfriend's hair? How did that go? Let us know. DM us. Go follow us at Ethan on Instagram, Ethan and Jess Show. And go tell me if you actually have cut your boyfriend's hair. Because I'm very curious to hear how that went. Yeah. Um, but yeah, stay safe out there. Are we ending? Oh, we're not? I don't know. We're just talking. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan yeah. is over you guys. He's like, you, stay you just, safe no, out there. No, usually when she shouts out the page, and I'm like, that. No, I, I was, I was just like doing confused. it because I wanted to hear if anyone yeah. has been cutting their boyfriend's hair. And how did it go? Because I'm curious. I I know I've seen some videos on YouTube of people doing it. Oh yeah. Also, I started my my solo oh. podcast. He's Ethan, dumping me, guys. Ethan's thoughts. No, it's just I'm just trying to do two. I'm kidding. Uh, Ethan's thoughts. Uh, Ethan E T H A N, and thoughts is T H O T. Um, Doesn't it sound like he's like talking about all the women in his life? Ethan's no, thoughts. But it's it's not even that. It's just I was trying to be creative. Like, it's like yeah, I get what the that writing me means, but it's legit. Like what I'm thinking. Um, <laughs> about women? No, it's not about women. It's about I, I'm not even talking about women, honestly. Like I'm I posted my first episode. It has nothing to do with women. He wants to be all. funny. Yeah. Oh, I have to hear this. It has nothing to do with women at all. Um, it's just basically me just talking, basically, that uh, like basically I'm talking about how much I miss getting haircuts. Really? Uh, yeah, I have a little segment there. Uh, I talk about like you know like sports, what's going on now, uh, how much I miss sports, uh, etc. Um, it's for everyone. Um, just give it a listen. Let me know what you think. I don't have an Instagram page for it or anything yet. Uh, I literally just started it, like, yesterday. Um, so, yeah. Um, give it a listen. Ethan's thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Go check that out. Um, we're going to be posting this on YouTube. Well, most likely, I think I'll post it on my YouTube channel for now and see how this goes. Um, right? Mm -hmm. So, I think my YouTube channel is Just Leon or The Just Leon. Go check it out. You'll be able to see it. Um, I'll put in just uh, Ethan and Jess show at the title. So if you search for that, Ethan and I think our show, if you're going to look it up on Spotify or on the Apple podcast, I don't know about the others, but it's Ethan and, but like the signal and not the word and. So it's just the, is that how you said? The symbol mm -hmm. and, and then Jess show, um, just in case you're having issues. I think it you can search it by both, but. I know that for sure the title is Ethan, Symbol, and Just Show. Mm -hmm. So I'll put that in the, the title on YouTube so you can look it up through there. So you can actually watch us while we're recording this in bed. Yeah. Look at our bed. For Sorry for those that are, are not watching us. Um, I'm touching our headboard. And does anyone else have this like stuff around their bed? I know some people do. Ethan hates it. And that's Ethan's stuffed dog from how old are you? Four. Four. And he fucking is there all the time. I don't know why. Jose is just like above us all the time. He's lived with me for years. I couldn't leave him. I'm not saying leave him. I'm saying put him away somewhere. Where? He's, he's got up there. 
I guess. Right next to the lavender. Yeah, he likes to smell the lavender plant, mm. or whatever it's called. Is it a plant? No, I think it's lavender flowers. No, he likes to smell the lavender flowers. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, guys, that has been our week. That's what we've been doing. Um, if you're going through a hard time right now, last time we talked about Ethan going through a struggle. How are you feeling now this week after like working out and having stuff to do? Uh, Emotionally, how do you feel? Definitely better. Uh, I don't think about quarantine as much. I kind of feel like I have like stuff to look forward to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, definitely these workouts definitely have helped me out like like definitely mentally wise because i just feel like i would wake up and just like i'd play P playstation and then like that'd be like my life and then like i'd rotate between madden mlb the show nba and like now i'm even fucking playing nhl hockey like nhl and now i'm even fucking like hockey like that's how like i'm like i need to figure out something to do in my life um but yeah or or like switching off between listening to the podcast but now at least like with these workouts definitely like it gives me something to look forward to besides just doing the same thing every day and it's like beneficial actually like i'm not really getting much out of just playing ps4 and listening to the podcast all day which mm -hmm. i still listen to the podcast but at least like i can you know yeah you're getting something out of working out yeah. so i think to take out of that is if you're going through a rough time which a lot of people are because of quarantine i know california you guys are um gonna be i think it's just LA. Until, like i don't know if it's california i know it's really? just la well I'm if you're in sure. la or in however i don't know i think i thought it was all california oh really i don't know no. i thought it was i thought it was la like that their county so like la and like i think someone in town well i don't know i guess i want to look this up after but regardless if I know you guys in LA or maybe California um, are going to be quarantining until like August? July. July? Okay. So until July. So it's definitely going to be a bit of a while. And I know that obviously um, this quarantining life is not easy. And it's not easy for a lot of people. And mentally it's very hard. Um, so find something that you can help distract yourself. Because I think that definitely helps and working out maybe not your thing but try it because it might motivate you and even trying to eat healthier might motivate you and it'll give you like ethan said like you wake up and you look forward to something and maybe it's not working out maybe it could be something else maybe it could be anything that you're interested in learning a new language studying something reading a book whatever it may be or learning how to do something, whatever it is, try it out, see how it goes, and you might find some sort of motivation the next day to wake up and do something. Definitely, I think it helps to create some sort of a routine of like five or six days a week being able to look forward to something and having a rest day. It's like you're creating a work schedule for yourself, technically. Mm. So I think it's definitely something that um, if you're struggling during these times, you should definitely look into that because... Um, it's helping so you know just try to distract yourself i i remember when i suffered from anxiety one of the biggest things they would always tell me is distract yourself i'm not saying i no longer i don't suffer from anxiety as much as i did before um and there's little moments that i get like anxious and all that and my first thought is like distract yourself distract yourself because immediately the moment you distract yourself and do things that make you feel good is the moment that you forget about all of that so definitely recommend distracting yourself if you're going through this hard time but yeah i think that's i think that's it that's it right all right stay safe be healthy wear a mask if you have to wherever you live <laughs> social distance and fuck you florida because y'all get to live a normal life i'm kidding <sighs> If your brother's going, I'm still going. Where? To Florida. I'm going to show up. You're going to go to Florida? Yeah. Mad people are going to Florida. I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm kidding. I'm not going to Florida. Sure. But yeah, guys, stay safe. Bye. And we will see you next week because I will get him to record a podcast next week. Yeah. Bet and on that. Video.
and a video now. I, I kind of like this whole bed thing. So right? Maybe this is going to be our new. This is our new thing. Check us out in bed. Bed. Bed recording. Bed and podcast. So go check us out on YouTube. The Just Leon or Just Leon. I'll change it or just Jessica Leon. I don't know. Check it out. Again, Ethan and Just Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, now YouTube, and on Instagram. Also check out Ethan's thoughts on Spotify for now. It should be on Apple Music, on Apple and the rest of the other stuff soon. And Anchor and Spotify. And Anchor, yeah. And yeah. All right. All right, guys. Bye. Have a good rest of the week, and we will catch up next week. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, right. You too. Bye.